Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to our children's message on this beautiful Sunday morning. So today I have my helpers, Faith and Madison, here with me. And we have two apples. And I'm going to ask them some questions about these apples. So, um, what color are these? Red. All right. And green. Do, uh, what is the same about these apples, Faith? They're both apples. They're both apples. Okay, that's an obvious. Anything else? They're both red. Okay, they're both red. Are they similar in size? Yeah. Yeah, they are. Both red, similar in size. They're both apples. Um, yeah, they, do they think they look good? Yeah. Would you eat them? Yeah. Yeah, I would too. I would definitely eat these apples. They're cold. If you feel them, touch them. Are they cold? Yep, they're both cold. They came out of the refrigerator. So, um, you know what? This apple... I don't really like this apple. Uh, it has a flat spot. If you can see, it's got a flat spot right here and it's got a little bump right here. Eh, the stem is kind of long. And, no, it doesn't smell funny, but I just think it looks funny. I just don't like this apple. I don't like this apple, so I don't want you to like it either. So I'm gonna, I want you to call it a name. Call it a name. Ugly? Ugly, I agree. You're ugly. You're disgusting. Faith, call it a name. <laughs> you're stupid. You're stupid. You're not supposed to say stupid, but you're dumb. You, you know what? I don't like you, right? Yeah, sure. We don't like this apple. It has a long stem and it's skinny. It has a flat <clears throat> spot and a little bump here and I just don't like it. You're ugly. All right, this apple, I like this apple. It's beautiful. It is very, as we said, red and soft and cool. And look, it's got a cute little stem. It's fat and it goes over and chugs. And I think this apple would taste delicious. Madison, say something nice to this apple. Beautiful. You're beautiful. <laughs> Faith, say something nice about this apple or to this apple. You're nice. You're nice. I think you are gonna taste delicious. Okay, so we have two apples. We don't really like this one. We talked mean to it. But we are taking very careful, good care of this one, and we like it. Now I said some mean things to this apple, and we've said some really nice things like I love you to this apple. Do they look any different on the outside? No. Matt, Faith, do they look any different on the outside after we use their words? No. No? Well, I am going to cut them open, and we're going to see if they're any different after we talked about them on the inside. All right, how's that one look? Good. Good. All right, here's the inside of this first one. This is this. You're beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? All right. The seeds are pretty, and you are probably rotten on the inside, and ugly, and stinky, and nasty. Aww. Look. What's it look like on the inside, Faith? Brown. Brown. Maddie, how's it look? Brown is all kind of mushy. Looks like it's cracked a little bit. Do you see that on the inside? Do you see that color on the inside? Inside this apple, the bruising, the brown spots, the soft spots, you know, that's what happens inside of us and inside of children um, and adults too. When people say things mean to us, when you use words that are hurtful, Sometimes I, somebody can say something mean to me and I can keep smiling and I can keep trying to go on about my day, but inside I'm hurt. Inside I'm bruised. Even though sometimes we say that um, sticks and stones will break my bones, but words will never hurt me. That's not true. Did you know the tongue, it has zero bones in it, but yet is the strongest muscle, I would say. It's the strongest part of your body that can break a heart because the words that come out of your mouth can really destroy someone, can really hurt them and tear them down. And even though on the outside they look okay, on the inside they're not okay. Unlike this apple, we as, as Christians, we have the ability to make different choices. We have the ability to choose our words wisely, to be kind and to be gentle with our words and speak light to people, speak um, God's word to people so they know how much they are loved. Let's make sure that our words are kind and are loving 
and and moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas let's make sure that we're being good examples and that we can teach our kids um, to be kind and not only just be kind themselves but stand up for other people if you see somebody else saying things that are hurtful that are mean um, stand up for them say something and let them know that what they did was not nice and that um, and let those other people know that you care about them we don't want our words to cause people to be bruised and hurt on the inside like this apple. We want to be more like this one and say kind words to lift other people up. You know, King Solomon, um, he's the author. He's the one who wrote the book of, book of Proverbs, which remember this week and um, last week, um, Pastor Patrick's talking about Proverbs. Um, you know, he is very well known for a man who could have prayed to God for pretty much anything. He could have asked to be the wealthiest man. He could have asked to be the most powerful man, but instead King Solomon prayed God to God and asked that he could be the wisest man. He chose wisdom above any other worldly treasure. So in the book of Proverbs, there's a lot of wisdom. And this week we're focusing on our words and how you can use our words. And some of those verses, um, one is Proverbs chapter 12, verse six. And it says, the words of the wicked are like a murderous ambush. But the words of godly save lives. Another one is from Proverbs 16, chapter 16, verse 24 says, Kind words are like honey, sweet to the soul and healthy for the body. And then today, Pastor Patrick's talking about Proverbs chapter 10, verses, um, I'm going to read to you, 19 through 21. And this is from the New Living Translation, and it says, Too much talk leads to sin. Be sensible and keep your mouth shut. The words of the godly are like sterling silver. The heart of a fool is worthless. The words of the godly encourage many, but fools are destroyed by their lack of common sense. So boys and girls, when you go throughout this week and really the rest of your lives, I hope you think when you eat an apple, which are super healthy for you, when you eat an apple, you think about what's on the inside and how we treat other people and how our words affect other people, um, how they can lift them up and, and keep them... Um, just happy and encouraged or how we can tear them down and we can bruise them and we can really really hurt their soul and hurt their feelings so I hope you have a blessed wonderful week and we will see you next week the girls really want to eat these apples bye guys